Hello, my name is Adolfo Moya. We are at the Frutura Technologies Quality of Fruit course on second module feed production and quality. And this presentation is going to deal about field operations and its effects on the quality of fruits. Field operations comprise pruning and training, tillage, fertilization, irrigation, crop protection, harvesting and other operations. Regarding pruning and training, those will determine the fruit shapes. They can be a standard, cordon, bus, pyramid, fan, espalier, step over or other types. Young tricks are, are pruned to train them because uh, to become robust, to make further operations easier and to ensure the production of high quality fruit. Pruning will control the size for easier care in maintaining and picking fruit. It will also develop a strong limb structure, distribute sunlight evenly through, throughout the tree and enable mechanization of several operations. Regarding to fruit production, pruning will regulate fruit bearing by removing excess fruit wood, renew fruit wood to continue strong buds and flowers, remove undesirable buds such as dead, broken and crossing branches, and generally, the optimum time of the year to prune fruit trees is the dormant season, that is between December and February for the North Hemisphere countries. While the main function of tillage during the orchard establishment is achieving a good drainage, further tillage is focused on weed control. Weed control should be analyzed separately for in-row and between-row. Sod between the rows has, num has numerous advantages with respect to clean cultivation, as it prevents soil compaction and erosion. On the other hand, it requires frequent mowing. Regarding the in-row weed management, excessive ve vegetation underneath trees competes with the tree for water and nutrients, and can reduce the growth of the trees, as well as yield and fruit size as well as yield and, fru as yield and fruit size. In-row weeds should be, ma should be managed either by mulching cultivation techniques or by using herbicides. All those methods can be suitable for weed control, but entail some risk that should be managed. The fertilization purpose is to fulfill the nutritional needs of the crop. Growers may estimate fruit trees' nutritional needs through leaf or soil analysis, as well as by their own experience and the observation of tree growth and yield. Nutrition of the trees refers to the quantity of each single nutrient in the plant, but also to a balance between nutrients. Well-balanced nutrition of the fruit trees guarantee maximum yields of high-quality fruit. As the presence of nutrients in the fruit tree requires its presence in the soil, but also effective absorption by the tree, Leaf or foliar analysis is the most accurate way to determine nutri nutritional status of an orchard, as it can warn of an approaching deficiency or toxicity before the plant shows any visible symptoms. The lack or excess, or, or excess of nutrients can lead to different problems. An, an example is shown at the figure on the right, where initial and later stages of drug spot or superficial cork affecting apples are shown, for, are shown for two apple varieties. This corking or bitter pit disorder in apples is frequently associated with calcium deficiencies all, and also to high nitrogen content at fruit level. Irrigation goal is to supply water of, for the crop to compensate the losses by evapotranspiration. As the main component of fruit is water, Water availability by the fruit tree is a very important factor determining fruit weight. Water content of the fruit will also have effects on quality parameters as concentration of several quality components will depend on total water content of the fruits. Crop protection goal is to avoid negative external influence of the fruits on the fruits or fruit trees caused by weeds, pests or diseases. The main strategies from, for crop protection rely on chemical, mechanical or biological control. Diseases and pests are normally in an unstable equilibrium in natural ecosystems, but when introduced in artificial ones, 
such an orchard, natural control often fails and results in pest and disease outbreaks. Biological control of, of pest species by predators, parasitoids and pathogens has been a cornerstone of IPM, Integrated Pest Management, since its inception. More details on IPM and production systems will be exposed on the next presentations of this second module. The first question that, ar that arises about harvest is, when has it to be performed? The fruits em evolve in the tree until they get mature. That is, that is the stage that will ensure ripening after the fruit is harvested. Ripe is the optimal point for consumption and where, fruit will and where fruit will start to deteriorate if not eaten. So, a point of optimum maturity for harvest has to be determined. This optimum maturity will vary depending on intended use and storage life desired. Harvesting too early results in fruits that is of flavor or lacking flavor, poorly colored and small. Harvesting too late results in softer fruit and a shorter storage life. The optimal harvest date can be estimated by the days after full bloom, but other indicators such as star con starch content, firmness, sugar and acid, co and acid content or color will provide useful information for a more accurate determination of the harvest date. Once fixed the optimal harvest date, the harvest process itself can only maintain the quality of fruits or cause damages that will lead to quality losses. Bruising damages cause breakage of tissues, deteriorating the structure of the fruit and releasing enzymes which in turn cause the oxidation of nutrient molecules, producing a browning. Damages that cause release of juice can promote the growth of molds that ultimately results in the root of the fruits. Another practice is the fruit thinning. The fruit thinning consists of the, on the removal of flowers of young immature fruits early in the spring. It increases the leaf to fruit ratio and removes smaller fruit that would never reach optimum size or quality. This operation also helps to circumvent the effect on a, of an excessive cropping on, near, on next year's bloom. Fruit thinning is a common practice on all the fruits where an adequate size is desirable. Summarizing this presentation, we can say that field oper operations are focused on the production of an optimal quality and quantity of fruit with an economical point of view. The objectives are set based on intended use of the production and that when comparing different techniques, a large, a large number of effects should be balanced. Thank you for attending this presentation. The next presentation will deal with production systems.